M0FXB. So I noticed when I was doing the firmware update on my Mark II Anytone that it had this file that said BT and APRS board firmware upgrade. Well, I thought well, I've got to try that. I've never done that before. So I double clicked this one here like so and it came up with some instructions which you can see here on the right. So it tells me to press and hold the top key and the side key PF2 which is the pretty sure it's not the PTT not the one beneath the PTT but the one beneath it so I'm gonna turn off the radio hold that button in and turn it on and apparently it's gonna say um, update mode for link board let's try that Okay, so hopefully you can see that. It says on the thing, update mode for link board, and it was the very lowest PTT button. So there's three PTTs, the main one, then there's two little buttons underneath that, and I click the bottom one and the green button, and then I turned it on, and that's what's come up. So, next thing is um, open up the, the CPS, which we have here. It's the 2.02N1. And then we're going to go Tools, Firmware Icon. And we're going to open the file. And this time we're looking for the link one. So let me just pause and make sure I get the right one. So the, uh, I've opened update, but it's taken me straight to the, I think, the firmware. I don't want that. So I'm going to go to the actual file, which is here. I'm going to double click that. And then I'm going to click this one here, BHT board 1.02. I'm going to double click that. And it says success. And then we're going to write it to the radio. Click write. Ah, we've got to set the port, haven't we? So let's just exit while we uh, select the port. So we'll go set, car mic port is five. Click OK. Now if you want to find your port, just when the radio is plugged in, and you do need to download the, um, the driver for the, the port, and I'll have that link in the description. So just go device manager, and when you've got the right driver, it will say GD32 virtual COM port, and mine's five. Just the GD32 is the main thing. So I've select, I'll select, make sure it's five again. Five, the radio's already in firmware mode, so we're gonna in tool, firmware, and we're gonna select it again, which is, this time it's the BHD board. We've selected that, click OK, and then we're gonna click right. And there it goes. So that has updated, updated the board. So that's interesting. And just to make sure, I'll do a full reset to make sure that everything's been updated so uh yeah um obviously do this at your own risk and uh, but it's, i just spotted it when i was you know when i was there let's have a look at what the actual menu says if i click out of that now i wonder if i can even see that in the firmware list so what we're gonna do i haven't reset it yet It's coming on, so we'll go menu, settings, device info, let's have a look. I mean, it's a blank radio at the moment, but 202N, hardware version 1.1, radio, last pro date, PIC version 1.21, language version, SCT version, BT software, so there is a... A thing that gives you the BT soft, the Bluetooth software. So, like I said, I'll reset it. Let me just remind myself how to to reset the radio. I'll show you that while you're watching. Yeah, to do a full reset, what you do, you just hold down the two buttons, turn it off, hold down the PTT and the button beneath, which is quite fiddly with 
my hands, but anyway, hold them both in, turn it on. If you've held them in properly, it won't boot like that. It'll go into reset, so let's do it again. It's quite stiff to do. So eventually it will show, are you sure you want to initiate? So you just click confirm and it does it. And you're gonna have to put in the time, reload your code plug. So make sure you, before you do any of this, you save your code plug somewhere. 7-3, all the best.